Are you a professional wedding photographer, portrait photographer, headshot photographer? If so, how many hours do you spend editing your photos? Probably a lot. But what if I told you that there is a new tool that can help you edit your photos with 10 times the speed? Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cassie and I make videos about photography, videography, editing, things like that. Evoto AI is a high quality professional editing software that can increase the efficiency of your editing workflow tenfold. So you can download Evoto from the website, which is evoto.ai. And you're able to download it for Windows or Apple. So since I am using a MacBook, I of course downloaded it for Apple. When you first open up Evoto, you're going to see two windows. So the top one is where you can create your own project by putting in your own photos. Underneath it, there is a sample project. So if you're using it for the first time and you just wanna mess around and see what the features are like without putting any of your photos in, you are more than welcome to do that. We're going to start our own project so I can show you some of these amazing features. So I'm going to click on new project and I'm going to name it test. All right, and then to add in photos, I already have a folder put together of test photos from my amazing models. So we're gonna take a look at our first beautiful model and we're going to see what types of features in a photo are going to work well for her photos. So just a few of the basics when it comes to working within the platform. On the left hand side, you're going to see presets and you can use these on any of your photos. And these are just recommended built-in presets. If you click on my presets, you'll be able to access any that you create and save. On the right hand side, we have our actual settings that we're going to be working with. So at the top, we have our color adjustments. So this is where you can do the basic editing, light, the color, things like that. The second tab here is portrait retouching. And this is where we can do things that are specific to the subject. So we can do face retouching, skin retouching, eyes, teeth, makeup, and body reshaping. So basically everything that you would normally spend hours and hours on in Photoshop, you can now do much quicker in this program. The next option we have is background adjustments. And this is where you can clean up your background or put in a new background if you don't like the one currently in your photo. And a new feature that they just put in, actually, I just I just updated the software this morning and one a new feature that wasn't in here yesterday is um, you're able to de-wrinkle clothing. And then the last tab is your crop and resize tab. So I'm gonna go back up here to the portrait retouching and we're gonna go ahead and jump in. The first thing that we're gonna look at here, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. 50%. So looking at her face, we're going to do a few retouching, a few retouching tasks. So the first one is the freckle and acne. She doesn't have much on her face. Let's zoom in to 100 and just kind of take a look here. So there's not a whole lot, but let me put this all the way over so you can see the difference it would make. All right, and then when you're editing in Evoto, you can quickly take a look at the original image by holding down the space bar. So this shows you the differences in what we just did. So you can see up here at the top, there's a little bit of blemish that goes away. So the next setting I wanna show you is the remove face shine. So if you have a subject that has oily skin, this can help keep it looking more natural and more uh, picture perfect. So she has a little bit of shine, not a whole lot, but let me show you what this can do as well. So you can see right around the nose area that helped with the shine a little bit. So then we have our eye wrinkle setting. So let's go ahead and use that a little bit here and we can take a look at how that looks. All right, and then this one is honestly one of my favorites. I have used this on every photo that I've edited since I downloaded Evoto, and that is the dark circle setting. So pretty much anyone you take photos of is gonna have dark circles. Everyone's overwhelmed, so see how easy it is to get rid of these dark circles. 
perfect. And just to show you how much it can do, I'm gonna put it all the way at the end. So dark circles are gone. Look at what a difference that makes. And then moving down, we have the face skin smoothing. We have two different options here. We have smooth face skin, and this uses a dodge and burn effect, like what you would use in Photoshop. Just a difference there. Now we're going to use the face skin smoothing slider, and this is going to make a huge difference. So again, I'm gonna put it all the way over just so that you can see. So of course this far over is not, it doesn't look super natural. So I'm gonna pull it back a little bit here. So that helps smooth out the face without making it look too unrealistic. Now we're going to go down to the eyes option and we have a setting here to edit the brightness of the eyes. So what this is going to do is it's going to take the whites of the eyes and the highlights and it's going to make it brighter. So let's take a look. I'll put it all the way over. So this is what it looks like at its brightest. Just so you can see the difference. All right, so I'm gonna put it right here. So that makes a difference for sure. So there are other things that you can do with the software. We have makeup. You can change how eyebrows look. So they have makeup presets or you can do everything individually. But from what I've messed around with, the, the presets are actually really good. You can change the lip color here. And you can change the texture of the lipstick. All right, let me go ahead and move this back down to 50%. So you can see the difference here. Okay, now this is at the regular size. Now take a look at the face and we're going to do before and after, before, after. So you can see it, it really makes a huge difference. So let's move on to our next model. Now since we are working with a male this time, I'm going to change the settings. Oh, it automatically noticed that he's a man, so switched over to male. This picture was taken in front of a wall in my house. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the background changing options. So the first option we have here is clean solid backdrop. So let's turn that on and see. Now another option we have is to change the headshot altogether. It has different backdrop options and you can even upload your own backdrops. So let's go ahead and try these fabric ones. I really like this green one. And you can also mess with these edge adjustments so that you can kind of tell it where exactly the edge of your subject is. All right, so let's take a look at before and after. Here's before and after. You can also change the backdrop to just plain white which I feel like works really well for professional headshots. I'm just gonna increase the exposure on this for just a second here. There we go. So that is how you mess with the background options. All right, so now we're going to take a look at our last model. Let's start with the portrait retouching. So let's go ahead and zoom into 50% onto her face. So the first thing we have is the forehead wrinkle setting. There we go, we got rid of the forehead wrinkle altogether. Perfect. Eye wrinkle, I'm just gonna do a little bit. I don't wanna get rid of all of it because then it kinda takes away from the smile. Dark circle, let's get rid of those. Okay. 
we have a smile line option just to get rid of some of those like deeper shadows in the smile line freckle and acne <clears throat> all right so now let's zoom into a hundred and look at the face skin smoothing okay so we do see a few more imperfections on the skin here so let's go back up to the freckle and acne see how much that gets rid of so you can see that actually does a lot right here so we also have teeth touch up we can just whiten teeth like this and there's also the pretty teeth option which is actually kind of cool it just replaces teeth completely all right and let's go to the eye brightness we're gonna turn that up let's go ahead and zoom out to the fit all right now let's take a look at before and after before after okay so I know what you're thinking at this point this is great it takes down the time on each photo but it's still gonna take a lot of time however if you do a photo session with one subject and you get one photo to be how you're wanting it to be you can save a preset and then apply it to every photo of that person I'll show you how right now okay so we've already done everything we want to do to her photo so we're gonna go here and click on save preset And I'm gonna go ahead and call this Jojo. And you can decide what all you want to be saved from your settings. I'm just gonna keep it all and hit save. So now if you go to my presets, you'll see it right here. Let's go ahead and pull in the rest of Jojo's pictures and we will see exactly how to apply it to all of them. Okay, so we're selecting all of the photos that we want synced and we're clicking sync. Effect synced to 12 images. Okay, so you can see, let's select one of these. Let's do this one. And it automatically applies all the settings and you can see before, after, before, after so now every photo of Jojo is going to have the same settings applied okay so there is one more feature that I want to show you so let's take a look at one of these photos there we go so you can see the sky in this is just white it doesn't look very interesting so in the background adjustments tab we can actually replace the sky we just click on recommended it has a bunch of presets that you can put in for the sky so let's start with number one it's going to see where the sky is and there you go it put in a new sky for us so let's take a look at the before and after here and there are a bunch of different types of skies there's bright blue skies sunsets and sunrises There are a lot of different options and it gives your photo a completely different look. There's even starry nights, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with sky number one. Okay, so let's say you're done editing your photos. You've applied your preset to all of your photos. You've gone in, made minor adjustments here and there for what you want. You're, what, 10 minutes into your photo editing journey well guess what's next exporting the photos so I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of the photos and I'm going to go up here to the top right corner and click export select where you want your photos to go so this is where the payment free photo comes in when you export images you spend one credit per photo and you can purchase credits on their website so I'm going to be using 16 credits here to export these 16 photos 
And then you can go to this exporting list and it'll give you the progress of where you're at with your export. You can also see what you have exported in the past. And there you have it. That is how you edit photos using Evoto AI. If you know anything about me, you know that I love editing photos and you know that I have been so intrigued by AI lately. So this was the perfect time for me to come across this software because this is a great way for photographers to use AI to your advantage. So the next time you have a wedding shoot where you have 10,000 photos that you need to edit and you don't feel like spending hours on each image, think of Evoto. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.